because man, this is a worldwide mess. You know, something guys like you and I haven't seen in uh, you know our whole life. And in 30 years of law enforcement and special operations work as a conservation officer, I never had to deal with this challenge while I was still, you know, a sworn officer and out there on active duty, contacting and engaging the public every day. And now my colleagues, you know, back at the old home agency in California, the marijuana enforcement team and keeping in touch with, you know, my old teammates almost weekly. Um, it's, it's a whole different game for them, too. And this is this is a scary thing where we got to come together because the fear and the anger and the anxiety is going to hurt a lot more people than, than even this virus is if it gets way out of control. And, you know, I can only imagine what you guys are dealing with over there, but it sounds very similar on the lockdowns and the, the limited driving based on where you should be. I've seen the same thing out here as well. But it's, yeah, to have four seasons like you do in Montana is just incredible. Like the thing I find amazing is when you watch the videos of the elk season right. in yeah. September, the guys are walking around, it could be, you know, 95, 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Right. And then, and then the next morning there's snow on the ground. And, yeah, you know, it's, it's come okay. through like a freight train. So Yeah, yeah. And, you know, all, all conditioned gear, no pun intended, you know. So, um, but it's nice you guys get that, that let, you know, you get a couple autumn days in there like you're having, Dave, and savoring those, especially with all that heat you guys have out there. But it, still no no lack of getting in the wilderness and, and getting after some good critters, it sounds like, uh, as a medium. So people get a little more connected. You know, they kind of put that face with the voice, like get to see you and I talking, you know, half the world apart. You're all the way in Australia. I'm all the way over here in northwestern Montana, you know, in the upper upper corner of the U.S. And it's it's pretty cool. And, you know, when you think of this COVID-19 pandemic going on right now, and like, like Cal was saying so succinctly that this is about, you know, population safety versus, you know, f- individual freedoms. And I'm seeing that same debate, you know, here in Montana, where we're a very mountainous, frontier-oriented, conservation-based, gun rights state, and everybody is very close-knit and very supportive of one another, but we're used to having freedom and uh, ability to go into open spaces and, uh, you know, and, and spending a lot of time in my old state of California and having family and friends, fellow first responders, people in the nursing profession, doctors, you know, that lockdown there is it's, it's, it's hard to stomach and honestly is coming from, you know, guys like you and me and all of us conservation and all those thin green liners out there. It's really hard to be told you're going to be locked down anywhere, you know. Yeah, well, first of all, thanks for having me on the show, Dave. I know we've been talking about this and just, you know, and then then COVID started. So we, we had some unforeseen delays, to put it, to put it bluntly. But, um, yeah, yeah, it was, uh, it was one of those things where I was in California when this thing really, really dropped, was doing business, was doing podcasts, was teaching, training, speaking. And, you know, a lot of my business is on the West Coast because that's where cannabis is such a big deal, especially in my old state of California. Um, where I where I did retire from, well, 28 years as a game warden, and about 10 to 15 of those in special operations, developing like you like you started to talk about, reading hidden war and war in the woods, um, a special operations unit of game wardens specifically to target the drug cartels out of Mexico, doing some heinous environmental damage on top of the public safety within American borders, as it relates to growing tainted cannabis. But then at the same time, decimating wildlife waterways like we've never seen uh, there before, which was was really kind of unheard of. You know, no one really knew that. And um, when this COVID-19 thing thing broke, when I was in California, 